Hey everyone, and uh, welcome to another adventure. <laughs> welcome to another tutorial episode for AdventureCraft. So today we're going to be tackling how to use uh, teleport blocks. Now um, I have a little demonstration set up here. I have the trigger blocks set up, and um, basically the trigger blocks, you know, um, they activate whatever um, the trigger is set to. And I have a little wall here. Clearly, this wall is solid. You cannot pass through it. So, you know, basically, let's say you want somebody to walk up to these trigger blocks, which is in front of the wall, and then they go through the trigger blocks, and then, hey, look at that. They're teleported behind the wall. You know, it can be used for, I don't know what exactly, but let's take a fly mode real quick. Um, so what you want to do is you want to have the trigger block set now this part is pretty important. You want to have the trigger block set two spaces above the ground. I just want to kill these off. And so see, it's two spaces above the ground. Now the reason why you want this to happen is because when they walk through the triggers, the teleport block teleports their head and not their feet. So essentially your head is going to end up in the ground and instead of your feet. So you just want to have it two blocks ahead of like this. And then simply uh, what you want to do is you want to double click on the trigger block here. So it's selected right click on, oh, I said trigger block. I'm sorry. Double click on the teleport block. So it's selected then right click on the teleport blocks, say use current selection. So now all of the trigger blocks are set to the teleport block. Now that is basically just, the one way part. The second part of this is that you want to have the trigger block or excuse me, the teleport block where you want the teleport to go on the other side of the wall here. So we're just going to put it two blocks ahead like so, so that you don't go into the ground. And then it's pretty simple. All you have to do is double click on this. So it's selected just the teleport block, come back over here. And now with our original teleport block, you just want to right click on it. And so now it says setting teleport and then it gives you the little, um, you know, coordinates for it. So now if we exit the bug mode by pressing F4, um, now everything's gone, which is supposed to happen. Uh, so we know the triggers are set here. So let's go ahead and test it out. And hey, look at that. We teleported behind the wall. No problem. Pretty easy. It's pretty simple how to use teleport blocks. Um, if you want to set it so it's like a two-way thing so that the teleport blocks will go both ways you know the way that I do it I'm sure there might be a simpler way to do it but you know essentially I just set up the same thing on this side I just put up a new couple teleport blocks but instead of um, having it so the other side is the trigger area this is the trigger area instead and then I just select my new teleport block, use current selection, I want to come over here. And if you'll notice, I set a new one up over here, double click on it, come over here and look at that the teleport set. So basically if you want a two way teleporter, so now if we walk through that, oh, hey, look, we teleported over here. And if you walk through this, oh, hey, look, teleporting, teleporting. Yeah, you get the idea. So now it's a two way teleporter. That's the way that I do it. You guys can do it another way if you find it simpler. Um, and that's basically it for teleportation blocks. It's pretty simple. Um, you know, so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, hopefully you guys watch the next episode. So, bye.